No, we're not part of the church. Okay. We know this is a pro-life church, um, but the reason we're here today is we want to abolish abortion. We don't want to just incrementally right. get rid of it. Um, and a lot of our churches out here in Texas, not just this one, a lot of them are apathetic to that abortion issue. Some of them, like your church, they support... I am actually just visiting today. Oh, you're visiting. Okay, so they support crisis pregnancy centers and things like that, which is great. But we can't pay people, like, if they pay for a crisis pregnancy center, that is not just enough. You know what I mean? Like you can't pay someone else to do the work of the Lord. You need right. to do the work of the Lord yourself. And we're just calling churches and saying, please, we need your help. As a fellow Christian, there's a Holocaust going on right now. And what does your Christianity look like in this time of a Holocaust? Just like in Nazi Germany, there was a Holocaust going on. And what the churches did, which is really sad, when the trains went by with the, with the Jewish people in it, and they could hear the screams. They asked the pastor, what should they do? And the pastor said, we need to sing a little louder so they could drown out the screams of the Jews going in there. And this is the silent Holocaust that's going on right now. And I think a lot of times our churches are not walking it. They're like, you're, like what is your Christian look? What are you doing for them? We can't just give that responsibility away. It calls all of us, and we have to all stand up for it. So that's the main reason why we're out here is we're asking fellow Christians to abolish it with us. Right. Okay? And not just go about life and think everything's rosy and wonderful because it's not. You know, right down the street we have abortion clinics. Like just sitting in there today, um, there's at least 60 babies that die. Even walking to the front door, there's three more babies that die. And a lot of people don't want to think about it because it's an ugly issue. But just like in Nazi Germany, it was an ugly issue. And what were we doing? Pretending it wasn't happening and it was legal, right? And it was legal and it's legal now. So we're begging churches to start abolishing abortion, whether it's writing, whether it's standing out here, or whether it's standing at an abortion clinic, whatever it is, we need, we're all accountable for our own actions. Now I do wanna, I, I just wanna ask. Yeah, go for it. Normal conversation, because I'm yeah. not from Texas, I just sure. moved here. So mothers that have gone through it, mm -hmm. you believe there's forgiveness for them? Mothers that have had abortions, absolutely. Yeah. If they ask okay. for forgiveness, absolutely. I'm God just, forgives everything. See, okay, so I come from a state of like 2 million people. Okay. So yeah, it's mainly okay. the people that do this are like, mm -hmm. mothers that have done it, no hope for you. No, no. Completely okay. not okay. God can forgive. As long as you ask for repentance, God can forgive you and wash you clean. Absolutely. Okay. We love, God loves everybody, right? As long as following him and asking for forgiveness when you do sin i sin i ask for forgiveness god can forgive me right just like an abort you know a post-abortive lady uh, i know lots of them and a lot of them in this with us as well and we also do a lot with the um foster and adopt um her family they have six adopted kids so we try to live it out we see a need for kids out there, we want to be there. We see a need for the widows, we want to be there. We see a need for the unborn, we want to be there. Yeah, that's uh, that's one thing I've always been telling people for, for like Congress. Yeah. I'm like, see, I think adoption in this country is ridiculous. Like, Do you? Like how well, so? Like, like my, my brother-in-law and uh, his wife, they yeah. tried to adopt. It's $30,000 to, really? to go through the process. process? That is ridiculous, and that's and, something that should change as well yeah. if that's the case. I'm, I haven't spoken that about your parents up there to know how much it costs. I didn't think it had that yeah, much I'm, of a cost because it was well, foster, and then because it was foster, and they paid for fosters, and then they actually were able to adopt them at that point. Um, so I'm not quite sure. I don't have enough information on that. It's, um, it's definitely way higher than it should be. That's ridiculous. That's it's one of those things I'm yeah. like. We're going to be pro-life. you got to be you for gotta adoption. you got to follow it all the way through. you got to be for adoption, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and we, and you know, there's so many of us that are. Um, so we're just really basically asking fellow Christians, please, what does your walk look like? Because we're all going to have to meet the Almighty one day, right? Can I actually say I, I did something for the unborn? His, him, his, his image bearers, you know? And I know actions don't save you. Your heart, you know, and your relationship with God, that's what saves you. But he also expects us to walk it out, right. right? So I'm trying to walk it out, you know? And I think that a lot of these people, a lot of them give us the finger. 
a lot of we had somebody spit at us today we have a lot of people that put blinders on and they do this and for a pro-life church that scares me and there's a lot of churches say they're pro-life but it's like what is your congregation doing not as a whole because we can't walk on other people's you know abilities and what they've done we have to be completely responsible for what we're doing and i think that skimmed over a lot you know i'm going to give to the ministry with the baby bottles i'm good i'm golden mm -hmm. but it's not if that's not the case you can't pay for someone else to do it and this shouldn't be legal you know and there was a um but last year there was a bill that came up that would have made abortion illegal in the state of texas mm -hmm. do you think the church has heard about it they Probably did not. not. They did not. It's very, very hush hush. It is. Any time it's it is. I mean, and that's not even just. I mean, that's everywhere. Yeah. I think. It is. I mean, yeah. I recently read like the defunding, but mm -hmm. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, since it's so hush hush, we don't want it to be hush hush because it is a Holocaust. It's right. just a more silent one, and it's a it's one that people don't want to look at because it's ugly. You know, it's ugly. So we're here showing the ugly. We need people to stand up for the, these babies that are dying every day. So that's the reason we're here. We're not picking oh. just this church. Okay. We go to all kinds of churches. I just, I just like when I first drove up, I'm like, yeah. Huh, I wonder if they're the same ones that I have back home. No. And so that's why I'm like, no, you know, we don't hate people. <laughs> I was just like, I, I'm just curious. No, so. not at all. No. I, I like to get other people. Absolutely. Would you take one of these and read it sometime? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead All right. and take it. Thank you. Right, I appreciate well, thank it. You for Thanks time. for stopping because not many people do. So I really appreciate that. Well, again, just I'm new here. Yeah. And I'm curious, like, are you part of the church? Are no. you just here? <laughs> we were. I mean, they don't let us come in, you know. Um, I don't think they want to think about this issue. Um, but a lot of churches are like that. I mean, the, so the head pastor, the few, so my, my future mm -hmm. in-laws were like, listen to his radio show yeah like back in the 80s I think. yeah he's been because around they, a long time they were yeah. very uh pro-choice Pro back in the, oh, back wow. in the day okay and they said well part of his ministry and others they're like we actually like got a biblical understanding of why it's wrong yeah they're like not because future father-in-law is very logical likes to get all the facts right i love it right and he's like i don't want to believe it just because people are telling me like I want to know. You want to research it. And He's like I want to know that it. God said this. Yes. And part of His ministry yeah. was that. And He's like, open my eyes. Which is true. Now we just need Him to walk the walk, you know, and all His parishioners to walk the walk, you know. I'm um, a good moral opinion just doesn't do it. We need to do more. That's all. I see where you're coming. All right. Thank all you right. for talking to me. You have a wonderful day. I appreciate day. it. You too.